Good news! The new DSC Sandero is now on sale in the UK, and I'm just joking. <laughs> that joke at the start was James May from Top Gear, just in case you didn't get that. But Formula 1 has had some good news, but before we get into that, let's go all the way back to the start. Now, of course, all the races, left, right and centre, have been cancelled. Canada went around three weeks ago. Now, all eyes turned to Paul Ricard, even after the French government said that they weren't going to be scheduled at any motorsport events or any sporting events until late July. We all had promise and hope that Paul Ricard would still be on the calendar. Well, that was cancelled on Monday by Chase Carey and the FOM, and a lot of news followed that. Now, as it was shared before, that Dr. Helmut Marko had shared on Austria's news radio station that an Austrian Grand Prix back-to-back, -back, so two consecutive weekends in Austria in July, would be the opening round and the two opening rounds of the new 2020 Formula 1 season. He let that slide, but, I mean, come on guys, it's Helmut Marko. He was also the one that said, let's give Max and Albon the coronavirus. So it's like, can you really believe that? So Austria is now going to be the start of the Formula 1 season. It's not confirmed as of time of recording, but Austria is definitely on the cards. So after the French Grand Prix was cancelled by Chase Carey, he came out with a statement and it quotes, We are targeting a start to racing in Europe through July August and the beginning of September. With the first race taking place in Austria on the weekend of the 3rd to the 5th of July. Now this is the date of the provisional Austrian Grand Prix before everything happened in this situation. He also says September, October and November will see us racing in Eurasia. That's Asia and the Americas finishing the season in December with Bahrain before the traditional finale in Abu Dhabi, having completed between 15 and 18 races. 15 and 18 races, really? We've been talking about this a lot. CEO Ross Braun has said this, and it seems very de-optimistic, if that was a word. I'm saying that, de-optimistic, yes. Chiskerry also says in his statement, We expect the early races to be without fans, but hope fans can be a part of our events as we move further into the schedule. The health and safety of all involved will continue to be a priority and we will only go forward if we are confident we have reliable procedures to address both risks and possible issues. We all want the world to return to the one we know and cherish, yet we recognise it must be done in the right and safest way. They were the words of FOM and Liberty Media CEO Chase Carey. There's some good words to go off. This was after France was cancelled. We have an optimism for Austria. Now, again, as time recording, there's no real news on Austria, but it does look like they, that will be what is happening. The 3rd of 5th of July will happen. Now, shortly after Austria is the British Grand Prix. Silverstone is one of the highest multi-stage sporting events that's attended here in the UK. Almost 300,000 people pass through the gates from Friday to Sunday. Me and Jordan have been before, and it is an amazing event to go to. That is already on the provisional calendar, so it looks like if Austria goes ahead, Silverstone will also. But it has been officially confirmed that Silverstone will be ran behind closed doors and no fans will be at the track. Now this is big news. It's upsetting for many people, but of course, if you are, refer back to the previous statement from CEO Chase Carey. It's about health and safety. And when you uh, think about it like that, it does make sense. Yes, you will not be able to attend the British Grand Prix, but A... Racing will be back. You'll be able to watch the British Grand Prix from the TV. And if you weren't going to go to the race, then you're not going to lose much. The first time we'll be able to see the 2020 cars will be at the beloved Silverstone circuit. And yes, if you do have tickets to go to the race, like Jordan and myself, it will be disheartening. But it's about health and safety. And as I've just said, Formula 1 will be back. Now, going off that, you should be able to get a refund from Silverstone. But of course, on this channel, we did not say that because we are not liable for any holding, blah, blah, blah. So that is the news there that Silverstone and the British Grand Prix will be held behind closed doors. And it is also looking like the Austrian Grand Prix will also be held behind closed doors. Well, as I say that, it doesn't take a genius to think that if round two is behind closed doors, round one also will be. So that is the news there. The Austrian Grand Prix will be the first round of the 2020 Formula 1 season. 
with Silverstone round two, and then of course, hopefully, we move forward through Hungary and so on, so forth. Again, no news has been said around the summer break, which of course is a three week period in August when Formula One takes a bit of a gap, a bit of a rest, because we know how hectic the racing season Whoa, hang on a minute, it hasn't. So, nobody knows what's going to happen in the summer break. But hopefully everything is back to normal. Belgium, Italy, so on and so forth. And as Chase Carey says, we finish in Abu Dhabi. Of course, with the few chains that he said, the Bahrain Grand Prix, for example, at Sakia will hopefully be on the calendar and will be rearranged for later on in the season. In terms of the rearranged circuits, we don't have an official list, but of course, a lot of them will want to get back on the circuit. Now, unfortunately, race like Australia at Alba Park, which was supposed to be the opening round, and the 25th edition was supposed to be this year. Unfortunately, that is looking like it won't be on the calendar. Of course, as it is run around the public park at Victoria and is classed as a street circuit, more erection of tracks and stands will need to be made. So it looks like we'll not be heading there anytime soon, which is really unfortunate, of course. But tracks like China and Bahrain will hope to get back on the calendar. Also, tracks like Spain and Zanvoort, of course, which will be in very high demand, but again, unfortunately, we are not going to because of postponement. Tracks like Monaco, we will not be going to as that race was officially cancelled for the entire year and the next event will be in next year's Grand Prix and hopefully a few more in the season that have been cancelled or postponed. So for the provisional calendar change that Chase Carey has said, July will be the start, running all the way to September in Europe. Again, no news here about what's going to happen in the summer break, but the possibility of filling the summer break with other races is higher. For example, we are just going to stay in Europe, so to head down to Spain or up to Zandvoort might not be a logistical nightmare. From September to October, we'll be racing through Eurasia, which will be races in Asia. In this period, we do see the Singapore Grand Prix. We also see the Japanese Grand Prix, so they will be held at this time. They were on the provisional calendar, but of course, other races which haven't been used, such as the inaugural Vietnam Grand Prix and the Chinese Grand Prix, will hopefully be in this position. Through October to November will be the races in the Americas and the remaining races as we finish in Asia. So, of course, as I say, the Japanese Grand Prix, which flows into the United States Grand Prix, the Mexican Grand Prix and the Brazilian Grand Prix, which hopefully will be run at this time. We might possibly also return to the Canadian Grand Prix of Montreal, of course the race in June which has been cancelled. And then in December we return back to the Middle East. The finale is Abu Dhabi but the next race in the Middle East that we haven't been to is of course round two which is in Saki, the Bahrain Grand Prix which Chase Carey said we are prevalent to go to. That is looking like it will be the penultimate round with the showdown being in Abu Dhabi, the light, the twilight race of the Yas Marina circuit. We are living in a time nobody can confirm anything, but the FOM basically hold as much of the cards as they possibly can. Chase Carey is working around the clock to hopefully get back to racing as soon as possible. This has been the best news we've had so far, that the 5th of July will be race day for the 2020 Austrian Grand Prix or the first round of the 2020 Formula 1 season. This will be ran all the way through to Abu Dhabi, which will be sometime in December, which will be the final round of the 2020 season. So that is the news at the moment. Let us know in the comment section below what you think about these proposed changes. Austria is going to be round 1, 99% sure about that, Silverstone round 2, and then basically season almost the same. What do you think should be in the summer break? Give us your opinion, you know, weekend 1, 2 and 3. What races would you like to see? Zandvoort, Spain, it's completely up to you. Let us know. And obviously we'll be giving our opinions in the next few weeks. But it is down to the FIA and the FOM, of course. They hold as much cards as they can. And they want Formula 1 back on the canvas. They'll be working tirelessly to get all the races back. And F1, some sort of F1 back for 2020. Remember the 70th year. It's a little bit of a shame that such a historical year has to be hindered with this problem. But nevertheless, we're trying to get through it as best as we can. In the last few weeks since this coronavirus pandemic played out, we've seen a lot of work given back to the NHS and healthcare systems 
and key workers for their basically the amazing work that they've been doing through this pandemic and the situation. When they're all the trauma in isolation, they are almost risking their lives to basically make the world a better place. And we are seeing a lot of things going their way. Money, donations, free offers. For example, with EE, we are giving them free internet date on their cellular phones and benefits such as extra shopping hours at supermarkets and things like that to make their lives a bit easier around working to serve us as a nation. Well Silverstone have got on board to offer this. Now of course as I've just said there the 2020 British Grand Prix will be run without fans but Silverstone are promising and have already started giving away loads of tickets for the 2021 Silverstone Grand Prix and other races such as the MotoGP and different other formula races that they ran at the circuit to key workers and healthcare specialists basically to reward them for the work that they are doing at the moment and currently ongoing with this situation. It's amazing work by Silverstone and we can only applaud them even more. Now uh, Mercedes along with other teams in Project Pit Lane have done so much for this situation and to see another governing body this time in our country in Silverstone and the British Grand Prix officials giving away tickets and as much help as they can including cash donations is absolutely amazing. So the key workers will be eligible to get the 2021 British Grand Prix tickets as they go on sale for early release at the end of this year and going into 2021. Silverstone Managing Director Stuart Pringle has said no one can be in doubt about the huge debt and gratitude that we owe them. Um, couldn't agree more. Could not agree more exactly. We were all doing our bit and Silverstone have definitely done what they can. So that would be absolutely amazing to show what the UK is giving back to them for their gratitude and what they have done for us in this situation and currently ongoing also. So that is the news for Silverstone in 2021. Of course, that's something to look forward to. But as I say, 2020 will be run behind closed doors on the TV. Not great, especially if you want them to go at the race, but there we go. Anyway, guys, that is the end of F1 24-7 News. Thank you very much for listening. Not loads of news, uh, apart from, obviously, the news that I started off with. Bit of a slower week in terms of progression of anything else other than when are we going to get the season underway. But hopefully, this Austrian news is good, and we will start for the 3rd to the 5th of July and get the season underway as best as we can. Hopefully now the next talking point is what will happen with the season permutations. Who will be champion? Who will win races and stuff like that? Hopefully it's all done and dusted. But we'll have to wait for the next few days and weeks to see what happens. Cheers, Kerry, and everyone is targeting Austria. And I can't imagine that we will not start the season at the Red Bull Ring, at Spielberg, in July. And we will all be ready to go. We miss F1 so much. I've kind of... We kind of always forget about, you know, thinking about it. But hopefully it will be back for then. Thank you very much for listening. This is every Wednesday, so please keep on track with F1 24-7 News, your premium edition of F1 News, as especially this situation progresses. But of course, we will keep it going throughout the normal season, whenever we get that, hopefully in Austria. If you do like what you see around here, make sure to like and subscribe. Stay on track with our channel. We have so much more content coming out for you, including the F1 Debate Show, and different other things, interviews, and different other segments that we have uh, throughout this situation, and hopefully throughout the 2020 season. Thank you very much for listening to this episode, and until next time, guys, we hope you all stay safe, and we'll see you later.